my reclaim. He set my feet on the road to stay. He put a song in my mouth to sing. And so I can shout hallelujah. He brought me out from the mire He set my feet on the road to stay. He put a song in my mouth to sing, and so I can shout so good. You have kept us all th this past one year. You have healed our families. You have blessed our families. You have increased our families. You have increased our income. You have increased testimonies in our life. You have given our children progress. You have sustained them. There are testimony. Oh, many some families that had no children before, you've given them children. We give you all the praises. We magnify you. Hallelujah to your name. As we go in this worship service, we pray that the power and the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord be revealed. Glorify yourself, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's shout a winning amen. We can be seated. I really want to bless the Lord because He's a great God. He has done so much for us. He has done so much for us. We cannot tell it all. If we have a thousand tongues, it will still be more.
God of all possibilities. There is nothing possible for him. We bless him because we will no more fight any battle. I say you will no more fight in any battle. The Lord has given you victory and your battles are over. Your warfare is over. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be sharing with us on my battles are over. I'm not partaking in any battle again. You will not partake in any battle again. I have handed over to the Lord. Jesus has taken over. What did I say, church? Jesus has taken over. The battle you are fighting with cancer. The battle you are fighting with poverty. The battle we have, you are fighting with leukemia. The battle you are fighting. Or your brother or your sister. Or your parents are fighting with poverty. Or with lack. Or with failure. I decree to you this morning. Your battles are over. In the name of Jesus. You will not need to fight in the battle again. We must realize that God has us in mind. God has you in mind. He wants to do great and mighty things over you, over your family. You must hand over matters to him. Many times we are not, we do not hand over matters to him. And we say, God, do it, God, do it. But you have not handed over. Take your hands off. Get out of the way. Turn it over. Turn it over. Let Jesus handle it. He can handle it. Let him handle it. Let him handle it. Turn it over. Turn it over to him. Are over. I said your battles are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn with me to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Start to read for me from verse 1. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria. And behold, they be in Hazazon, Hazazon Tamar, which is Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord, before the new court, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven, and ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in thy hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? Art not thou our God? Who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and gave it to the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? And they dwell therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade, when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. Verse 12. O our God, will thou not judge them? For we have, we, for we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are upon thee. And all Judah stood before the Lord, and with their little ones, their wives and children. And upon Jah Jahazel, the son of Zechariah, the son of ben Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came to 
the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Thank you very much. Three nations came against Judah, Moab, Ammon, and Mansell. Now, Jehoshaphat had enjoyed rest because he served God. If you go to chapter 17, 18, he had served God. He had done the will of God. He was always seeking to please God. In line with as his father did, started with. So, the Bible says God gave him rest. He had rest. He had rest. The Lord will give you rest in the name of Jesus. I say God will give you rest in the name of Jesus. Because he loved the Lord. He saw the Lord. God made him to prosper. In fact, the Bible says he had businesses in the city. He was interested in progress. Suddenly, there came news that the enemies have compassed the city of Judah. Look at verse 3 of that scripture. And Jehoshaphat feared and he set himself to see the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. When there are battles in our lives, when there are things bigger than us, when there are situations we don't know what to do, we must learn to run to the Lord. Joshua was one of the beloved kings that ruled in Judah that pleased God, that drew the hand of God upon the earth. The people knew that, look, God has been with this man. For no just cause, he didn't commit anything, he didn't do anything bad, they were serving God, the enemies just gathered. There are times that the battles you face in your life is not because you have done wrong. It's not because you have seen. It's not because you caused it. You didn't cause it. But God's opposition just arose. Just people that are against you. Adversaries. People raising barriers against your speed. Against your progress. They arise. That was what happened to Jehoshaphat. But when he feared... He knew the next thing to do. And that was to run to the Lord. How many children of God, because of fear of this problem, yes, he can generate fear in you. When the fear comes, run to the Lord. Call upon his name. Don't run to men. Don't run to the big prophet. No. Run to God in prayer. The church you are attending that the Lord has been using God's servant there. Stand with the servant of God. Go to him to pray for you. Explain your fear to him. He will join you in prayer. And God will walk wonders. Not, not running about looking for prophets, looking for visionaries, looking for seers. That is why many people, they've delayed their miracle. Many people, they have gone into trap of the enemy. They are looking for prophets to prophesy to them. They are looking for seers to see things for them. Some people want a sign for, from Jesus. And he said, we sign. There is no sign that will be given to you except the sign that was given to Sodom and Gomorrah. That they should repent. Otherwise wrath of God was coming upon them. Or the one that was given through Jonah that to Nineveh go tell them, my wrath is coming. There is no other sign. You are looking for sign. You are looking for sign. You are looking for seer. You are looking for prophet. You want them to prophesy to you. When the prophecy of God is, is completed and concluded in the Bible. Go to the word of God. If you are born again, you have been attending a Bible believing church. Go to your pastor. Let him pray. It is not by running to any other prophet. It is by running to God. Not connecting a prophet. Some people will say they want to connect Mary. Mary mother of Jesus. 
pray, tell your son to do this. Mary has been dead since years and years. He died a normal human being, a normal woman. Mary, the mother of Jesus. So you can't be telling a dead man to tell Jesus, the son of God, the living God, to, to pray for you. It is wrong. It is a mode of worship that is not biblical. Even in the book of John, when Jesus turned water into wine, before that incident, the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus was there at the marriage in Cana of Galilee. And when there was no more wine, they told the mother of Jesus. And the mother of Jesus went to Jesus. Because this is what this religious sect, this is what they do. They say, hey, Mary, mother of Jesus, mother of God, tell God, no, it is wrong. They went to, to Mary and said, we don't have wine. We don't have wine. What do we do? We know your son is in the house. We know Jesus is around in this ceremony. We don't know what to do. No more wine. Mary also carried herself and went to Jesus. Son, they don't have wine. What was the response Jesus gave unto her? Jesus said, my hour has not come to you woman. Jesus didn't say, didn't say, my mother. No. That woman, my hour have, has not come. What have I to do with thee? Jesus was stopping that channel of praying to the Father through Mary. Jesus did not want anyone to come to God to request for any blessing through Mary. The Bible says Jesus has been given a name above every other name. That the name of Jesus, every name must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. He is only the name of Jesus that has been given, not the name of Mary. Not the name of Joseph. Not the name of the archangel. Michael, archangel, Gabriel. No! But the name of Jesus. And that was why Jesus told Mary, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour has not come. Nobody should come through you to reach me. They have to pray to me. I will hear. God will give answer to all your requests when you pray in the name of Jesus. Heaven will open speedily for you when you run to him. Do not pray to God through Mary, through angel, through anybody, but the name of Jesus. Jesus told Mary, what have I to do with thee? That was, that was his mother. But what was happening there was spiritual. It was not physical. If they were in the house, of course, Jesus can be can do. I can imagine in their house, Jesus had made certain divine provisions. Hello, church. Mary had witnessed Jesus' supernatural power when they were in the house, or when Jesus was growing up. That was why Mary now went to him. Not knowing that what was happening in the house was natural basis. Now it is spiritual. You cannot use the physical and the natural thing to control the spiritual. And that was why Jesus said, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour has not come. And what did Mary do? Mary went back to those people that wanted mine. He said, Please, I beg. You people, you have made me now. I have missed the timing. However, let me tell you one last, one last joker or one last uh, 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 key. Whatsoever he tells you, do it. That was the last advice that Mary gave to men and women in the world. Because Jesus has already damned her. That woman, what have I to do with you? Why are you coming to, to ask for what they want? You, you don't.
don't belong to that line of command. Hello, church. The line of command for requesting things from God is not through you, Mary, but through me to the Father. So Mary went back to the people and told them, I beg you, I'm sorry. When he told Jesus, he was, she was sorry and went down. Let me give you a secret. Whatsoever he tells you, do it. And what has Jesus told us? That if you ask anything in my name, what? My father in heaven will do it. Therefore, when there are fears in your life, when there are issues in your life, don't run to Mary, please. It's a pity some sect believe this so much, but I like to say it's not correct, it's not biblical, it's not spiritual. What is spiritual? He is to go to the Lord in prayer in the name of Jesus, not talking to Mary, mother of Jesus. Jesus laid that foundation there. Nobody should go to his mother, but people should come to him. And when they went to Jesus, sir, the wine was finished. He spoke to them, go and fill the water pot with water. And they went and filled the water pot with water. Sir, we are finished filling the water pot with water. They are full. Okay, go and take it and begin to serve the guest. Sir, no, it's, we have water. But what finishes this wine? Jesus, look at them. Look at them. Sorry, sir. Because they remember the mother said, whatsoever he tells you, do it. So they ran back and started serving water in wine cups. Of course, we all know the result. The miracle took place through their obedience. And in the case of Jehoshaphat, when he feared, he ran to God. And the Bible says, all oh, Judah gathered before the Lord. Hey! I want you to know that whatsoever you might be feeling, whatsoever thing, look at verse 4. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. What, what a submission. I'm talking about the battles you face in life. Go to the Lord. Surrender unto him. Seek help from him. He will not abandon you. Seek help from him. He will gather you and hold you to himself. Don't seek prophets. Do not seek prophets. If there is a pastor that you know God's hand is upon and is, is, is exalting the name of Jesus, you can just let the pastor pray for you, no problem. But when you are seeking pastor, seeking prophet, seeking the divine, the diviners, seeking seers, seeking they say they pray by the beach or whatsoever, you have missed it. Don't forget God sees your heart. When the battles are much, seek the Lord. Run to the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon his name. And he will never disappoint you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at the way the whole of Judah ran to the Lord. They all sat. They all sat before the Lord. And prayed. And their leader. Joshua stood. And started talking to the Lord. He shows humility. He shows it's only you we have. It's only you that is worthy. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. There are times in your life you need to let the Lord know that you have no power. I surrender to you, Holy Spirit. I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. I have nothing of my own. I surrender to you. That was what Joshua did. 
Cry unto God. Cry unto God. God, remember, you did not allow us to invade these people. You said we should leave them. That as we are growing and expanding, and then we can be expanding our territories. You ask us to leave them. Now they have turned against us. Now they have become adversary to us. Now they are coming. You see, if Jehoshaphat had been a sinful king, a king that didn't recognize God, ah, that his prayer wouldn't have worked. But because he had been serving God in spirit and in truth, he has been all honoring God. Heaven responded immediately. And I want you to know that the Lord will respond to your heart cries and your prayers even today in this Thanksgiving service in the mighty name of Jesus. You must have a heart of thanking God, a heart of surrenderedness to God. Say, I know God will help me. I know the Lord will not leave me alone. The battle you have been facing up till now, or the battle you are still facing, Jehovah God will carry you through in the mighty name of Jesus. You have looked unto man enough. Some people, even when they come to church, they are expecting maybe the pastor to give them money. They are expecting maybe these people, hey, this is this problem I have, and maybe they will give me. Stop doing that. That is how you leave me God's, God's miracle in your life. Because you are looking unto man. You are looking unto woman. You are looking unto a relation. You are looking unto somebody. This is the person that God will use. You are wrong. God may use the person, but most of the time, God doesn't use those people you are looking at that will help you. No, God will not use them. Because if God uses them, you now believe. You continue that belief. You see, I know God will use that man. Your heart, your faith is in that man. Your heart, your faith is in that woman. Not in God. I know him, I believe. I worship the Lord. I know him, I believe. I worship the Lord. He's the only God. He's the righteous God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. So I praise His name. I worship the Lord. I am serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living who oh, are living, serving a living God. I am serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living. Who are living, serving a living God. I am serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living. Who are living, serving a living God. There might not be people who are close to you that can help you. Even some people that are close to you, who to your own understanding, they have the power to help you, but they are not in the mood to help you. But they themselves, they are trying to solve one small problem. To you, that is a small problem. That one doesn't matter. But to them, that's their priority. So you now feel dejected. You feel disappointed. I want you to remember that song. I know him, I believe. I worship the Lord. I know him, I believe. I worship the Lord. He's the only God. He's the righteous God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. So I praise His name. I worship the Lord. I am serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living. Who are living? Serving a living God. When you sing it from your heart, your heart 
get connected to him that there are certain times in my life in the earlier part of my career in the oil and gas industry I was just 25 years old when I came all the way from Ibadan I came to the east to Port Harcourt and there were so much oppositions even some people I thought were senior to me that were assist me that were me nobody was there that song in the house of my cousin I was staying that period they were always playing it and when I'm alone when I'm praying that song will continue to come I am serving a living God I am serving a living God I was looking for I have not seen house after I moved down from the company I got in residence for the, after the three months I was employed I was caught in there things were tough things were tough some people say, but you were not married. I was not married. But when I get to the office, when I got to the office that time, the environment was you. You're a failure. You cannot remain here. But I know, I, I knew the hand of God that brought me to that company. I knew the hand of God that sent me to Port Harcourt. I refused to accept. I, I, I built my prayer muscle. Hallelujah. What did I say, church? I built my prayer muscle. In fact, prayer became the water I was drinking. When I'm going to the office, I'll be speaking in tongues. When I'm in the house, many times I lock myself in the room, I'll be praying. <laughs> One day I was praying, 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 praying. When I came back from work, my cousin and the family came in and all that. And after a long time, I came out of the room. Ah. And she said, Ah, Aki, are you in the house? I said, Yes, I was praying. Ah, I can never forget. She said, your matter requires prayer indeed. What? My matter requires prayer indeed. I said, God, you must show that you're a prayer answering God. In all the things in the company that I nobody I could run to for anything. But I remember the hand that was, the, the, that was hanging on the tree. I remember the hand that was pierced for my sake. I remember the sight of Jesus, that water and blood goes down. I remember the, 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 the commission, the wall that brought me to Port Harcourt. And I said, in this Port Harcourt, I must be celebrated. I said, in this Port Harcourt, anybody that will see me, will see the hand of God. It didn't even take long time. Before all of them started seeing me, all of them they were looking down on me. They saw me that had gone far. In fact, the Lord overtook for me. Those who have gone ahead of me, God overtook. Why? I prayed. I want you to learn to pray, church. When you run to Him in prayer, when you confess to Him, many of our young ones, maybe because we are with your parents, you have not learned to put your heart onto God. I was talking to my daughter. I think it was during the week. She said she was praying and she was talking to God. And she was calling me for something. And Holy Spirit told her. That's what she told me. Holy Spirit told her, leave your father out of this. Your father has fought the battle and God has given him victory. She, he has believed God and he has received victory. And the Lord has, has blessed him. It is your time. That was what my daughter told me that it was now our own period it was now our own time to show for faith and stand upon the law and God will give her victory this was what my second child told me and when she told me I shook myself I said God you will prove yourself mighty in our life God you know this girl loves you she has made sacrifices on many occasions yes if people yeah yes but she's doing fine but she's not at the level of glory she had expected. When we're talking about that, my desire to be is to be the chief executive officer. The chief executive officer. I say, go on trusting God. You will get there. We say, oh, do you want to be this other provision? He said, no. He said, it is to be at that top to affect people for God. And I said, God is faithful. He will do it. Trust in God. Beloved, when there are battles in your life, run to the Lord. Don't run to man. J. 
Jehoshapha ran to the Lord. Now let's go down to verse 14 and 15 of that second chronicle. Second Chronicles 20 verses 14 and 15. Hazel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Baniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Amen. Thank you very much. The Lord sent a word, just like the Lord is sending you word this morning, that the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's battle. Your battles are over. The battle you are fighting against poverty, the battle you are fighting that your children must go to school, you knew how you had half big education and what effect it has on you. So you don't want you, you want your children to go to the highest place to, to succeed and you are fighting battle. The Lord is saying he has taken over your battle in the name of Jesus. The battle is the Lord. Because you have called upon his name. Because you have set your mind to seek, to seek him, to please him. Because you are calling upon him. Don't be like those who are looking at men. Don't look at men. Men will disappoint you. Hand over the situation to, to the Lord Jesus. I remember the story of the woman who was a widow. The woman in the city of Nain in the book of Luke chapter 7. The Bible says this woman was a widow but she had a son and she had been managing her life and training the child, the son with an expectation with the hope, when my son will grow, my son will be mighty, my son will be both my husband my son, my sister, my brother, everything and she was laboring on this son and suddenly the son became sick and died and people went around that with this woman and they were crying and they were crying how can this thing happen but this woman trusted God but this woman had been doing goodly things what is this let's go to that scripture the book of Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 Luke 7 and from 11 yeah. and it came to pass and it came to pass the day after mm -hmm. that he went into a city called Nain and many of his disciples went with him and much people now when he came near to the gate of the city behold there was a dead man carried out the only son of his mother and she was a widow and much people of the city was with her and when the Lord saw her he had compassion on her and said unto her weep not and he came and touched the bar, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, arise. And he that was dead sat up, and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, That a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. Thank you very much. The Bible says they were crying. They were mopping. They were so sorrowful. This woman had been good. The old man died before. Now the only son dead. And Jesus appeared in the scene. I don't know what particular situation you are facing. I don't know what circumstance you are facing. I'd like to let you know. Jesus will appear on the scene. Jesus will appear in that matter. When Jesus appeared, their battle became banquest. When Jesus appeared, their tests became what? Testimonies. Their trial became
became what? Triumph. Their battle became what? Banquets. Just like Jehoshaphat that we read. God fought for them. And the Bible says, when the, the people of Moab and Ammon and Seir, when they finish killing themselves, in that, as from verse 22, 23, the Bible said, the enemies killed themselves. And Jehoshaphat that went to battle, he just went with his singers, and when they got to battle, they saw dead men. What were they doing when they saw dead men? They started carrying the spoil, carrying food, carrying gold, carrying real men. The battle was turned to what? Banquest. The Lord is preparing banquest of sweet things for somebody here. That amen is too weak. I said somebody that has gone to battle or that have come to this service this morning with battle in your mind. God is turning that battle to a banquet of sweet things, banquet of food, banquet of miracle, banquet of healing, banquet of abundance, banquet of promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehoshaphat went to battle. The battle turned to banquet, and they were carrying goods, carrying gold, carrying food, carrying everything. And that will be your case in Jesus' name. The Lord is taking over. Your battles are over. Your warfare is over. No more battle in your life. Hand it over to the Lord. Hand it over to the Lord. Take your hands off. Get out of the way. Take your hands off and get out of the way. Hand it over to the Lord. Because your God cannot be changed. Your God cannot cannot be taken on our Your God cannot be defeated. Your battles are over. Your battles are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abundance is commanded unto you. Favor is commanded unto you. Don't hold on to that battle. It's not your battle. Jehoshaphat went to the Lord, sought the Lord, prayed. And the Bible said, all, all Judah gathered, even the small children, why we all of them gather? Because that was their only hope. Many times you still see that battle in your life because you are not seeing God as the only hope. Because you are thinking there are other ways. And there is a prophet or there is one of your relations. There are some people they come to church. But when they leave church after praying, they still trust their uncle so much. And you see that my uncle, hey, this is my, my in-law. Stop that. Thank God when God raised me, he didn't raise me to trust or to look up onto any human being. No, no human being. The people I even cherish so much and the, 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 the spiritual fathers, uncle that God placed over me, cancel and pray with me. That, those are the things I cherish most. And the Lord has settled my case on every stage in my career in the ministry. Instead, he did it directly. Nobody can say it was through them I became what God has made me. No human being can say that upon this earth. That it was me, if not for me. Aki Oke wouldn't have been. No single human being can say that. I love him from whence coming my help my help coming from above from God, he's my helper he's my healer, he's my connector, he's my sustainer he's my defense I cling to him and that is why the only way I play, where the devil can easily catch me is to say, I should, nobody should trust God, I will not even accept because it's like you want to remove my power learn to trust him he will not fail to be there on time. He will not fail to be there on time. Sing it again. Sing it again. One time. He will not fail to be there on time. He will not fail. He will not fail. To be there on time, singing one more time. He will not fail to be 
joined their midst and they started fighting each other until they killed themselves and after they killed themselves the people of God came Jehoshaphat and the men and women of Judah you know many of them were singers they were singing and they saw only dead bodies the Bible says none escaped hallelujah go on and and none escaped and when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them hmm. they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away and there were three days in gathering of the spoil it was so much hmm. and on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the valley of Barakah mm -hmm. for there they blessed the Lord hmm. therefore the name of the same place was called the valley of Barakah until this day thank you very much they went to battle it was battle time they were going to battle but Jehoshaphat believed the prophecy that the battle was the Lord, not there. So he appointed singers. Corissa should lead. What a faith man. Imagines of men of faith. What a faith man. He didn't allow soldiers to lead the battle. He didn't allow generals and colonels to lead the battle. He called the guests to come and begin to sing. He called them. The keyboardist. He called the keyboard, the basses, the drummer, the trumpeter. Oh yeah, my guests, begin to sing. Hallelujah. Men of faith. What, what an act of faith. We are marching forward. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, what, what an act of faith. This was somebody cried that these people came against him. But just because the word of the Lord had come unto them, he believed the word of the Lord and he appointed singers. They should go out here. He too was there. They started dancing. He told the, the soldiers, you people, you can be just surrounded at the back and by the side. But in front, the singers, the Levites, all of them blowing trumpet. We are making progress. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We are marching forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They were singing. Their weapon was not on steel arrow. Their weapon was the word of God. And the Bible says, as they started singing, the Lord sent the angel of confusion to the enemies and they killed themselves. Now they were at the battle. All their enemies were dead. Now look at gold, silver, food, raiment, everything. So God turned the battle to what? Banquest. You didn't answer me. God turned the battle to what? Banquest. Your battle is turning to banquest of sweet things, of testimony, of abundance, of favor in the mighty name of Jesus. You will struggle no more. You will fight no more. Don't run to man and woman. Hey, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, you do what normally you wouldn't would like to do because you don't want to offend your in-law. You don't want to offend one uncle. You don't want to offend somebody. I want to plead with us. Let us look unto God, the author and finisher of our faith. Any situation you find yourself, God will get you out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in that scripture, Jehoshaphat and his army and people they spent three days to carry goods. What a dividend. Look at. Look at the dividend. Look at the harvest. Look at the harvest. The Lord blessed Jehoshaphat so much. The Lord increased him. And that is why you must learn to serve God. As we have come to for this Thanksgiving, have a heart of say, thanking God. Have a heart of celebrating. Have a heart of rejoicing. 
if there have been battles, don't worry. Drop that battle. Put on the garment of what? Garment of praise. He has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. Oh, that man should praise the Lord. Oh, that man should praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. For his wonderful work to the children of men, to the children, he has broken the gate of brass and all the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gate of brass and all the bars of iron asunder. He has broken the gate of brass and all the bars of iron. What are the gates that the enemy has locked against you? This morning, those gates are opening for you in the name of Jesus. Gate of favor, gate of abundance, gate of success, gate of anointing. The anointing of God is coming upon your life. As you are preparing to end the new year, another new period shall be a season of testimony shall be a season that you shall be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus I want you to have a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of rejoicing, a heart of just say God the Lord has been good shall we just stand up oh Lord thou art our God we will exalt the this is Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 Isaiah 25 verse 1 for thou has done wonderful things thy counsels of old at faithfulness and through O Lord I will praise your name For thou has done wonderful things Thy counsels of old Are faithfulness and truth O Lord
Father, we have come to thank you today to celebrate you because our warfare and battles are over. Because we will not struggle, we will not fight again. Hey, all our oppositions, all our enemies, you have turned them to dead men and dead women in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive the grace to subdue nations, to subdue principalities. Even as we continue to thank you today, the, there shall be a flow of the anointing for victory over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for those watching from their various homes. We pray that the power of the Lord, the grace of the Lord be released over their lives. The Lord has given you victory. Beloved, I want you to know God has given you big victory. And no power of the enemy shall be able to touch you. You are lifted. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lord, I want to pray for as many as are sick, as many as have one ailment or the other, one problem or the other. I command that sickness out of their bodies in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You are made whole. You are delivered. Jesus was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. And by stripes, you are 